Hello everyone, let's solve the very first question from today's weekly contest that is maximum length substring with two occurrences. Now in this question, you're simply given a string S and what you want to do is you want to return the maximum length of a substring such that it contains at most two occurrences of each character. Okay, so let us understand. So what we're being told is that you need to consider a substring which contains which contains at most two occurrences of a of the characters that appear in that substring right of the characters that appear in that substring okay you want to consider such a substring so at most two means that the frequency of the character can be zero one or two okay so not more than two that is it okay so you want to consider such substrings and out of those substring what you want to return or the answer to this question has to be the maximum length of such a substring okay of a string substring which contains this property of having only two occurrences right up to two occurrences of the characters present in it and of it you want to return the maximum length okay so let us see this example so what you are given is this particular string now here if you notice b is a valid answer right b c is also a valid substring b c b is also a valid substring and if you now see see b c b b is not a valid substring because here the frequency of b will become three so we cannot consider this as a potential substring right now if you see uh, here again if you start from b and then from b c you can consider b c b you can consider b c b a also you can consider out of these it is very evident that the answer is going to be four right because this is string right this substring has the property and is also of the max length so that is it that is what you want to do in this question now i will not discuss the brute force approach here because brute force approach is very obvious you you have to iterate like in all substrings and check their frequencies correct so rather than that we'll check the most efficient approach to solve this question and that is using sliding window okay so what we're going to use is the sliding window approach okay now why can we use sliding window here so you can see that what i want is i want to maximize the length of a substring right having at the most two occurrences of a character of all the characters that is present in that so what i can do is see for me the, the ideally answer should be the whole substring like if i just look at the question i'll think oh the whole sub uh, whole string can be the answer but because of this constraint of having at most two so i need to trim some part of the string right now what i'll do is using sliding window i can keep increasing my window size right so it is going to be a variable sliding window as the window size is not fixed so what we'll do is we'll start iterating right so we'll start increasing the window size now as soon as i reach a point where my window size is like window size is okay but my uh, constraint is violated right so constraint is basically that frequency of any character exceeds two i have to decrease the window size right so i have to trim the part from the beginning from here because i know see here if you see up to b c b it's all right but as soon as i come to b my frequency of b is in, going to increase to three right as soon as it increases to three i know certainly that all the substrings that start with this particular b this zeroth index right are definitely not going to be an answer is definitely not going to form an answer so that means i can trim this part steeply so that is the intuition right and that is the reason we can use sliding window here all right okay so let us do a dry run right of how we are going to use sliding window here so what we'll do is we'll have a hash map okay so we'll create a hash map and while we'll iterate we'll keep hashing the values okay and see what we'll do is we'll create the hash map and we'll start iterating in the string so what i'll do is here i'm writing i'll let's say this is my hash map mp in it 
I am going to hash my value, whatever value I have. And then what I have to do is I have to check that I have a while loop here. Okay. What I have to do is I have to check if let's say after increasing this value, right? What happens is that MP of S of I contains frequency of that character more than two. So I have to start trimming from the starting, right? Now, having while loop here because I don't know that this particular index, right? This is zero. You'll start from the left. So let me say that this is your left side. Okay. So we have to start trimming from the left, right? Now, if I'll start trimming from the left, then obviously it is not certain that wherever I'm standing, wherever I'm having this left pointer at, that particular character will certainly be this ith character. Right. So that's why we need this while loop. Right. And we would trim this until this particular character's frequency doesn't become less than equal to two. Right. So we'll have see, we'll do a dry run and then it will be much clearer. So here I'll check MP of S of I. If it is greater than two, then what you have to do is you have to trim some part of the string. Right. So what you have to do? You have to make this left plus plus and before that it's frequency you have to remove from the map. So before that it's frequency here I'm writing before that please remove MP of S of left right. So left is going to contain the index and this you have to trim. Sorry it's frequency you have to reduce right you have to reduce from the map. Okay let's do a dry run all right. So we are starting from B. So left pointer is also at B. So we are start, starting our iteration from B. Okay, we are here. Hash the value. It's one. We'll come to this condition. There's no problem. Also, what you have to do is take a max value here, right? Max value here. And also like update your answer, right? So it should be maximum of whatever is already present in max and the substring that you're considering right now. So the substring is going to be your ith index minus this left pointer, your ith index minus your left pointer plus one. So here you can see ith is zeroth index, left is also present at zeroth index. So zero minus zero plus one, which is going to be one. So this B, right? This is also substring. So we are considering this, right? Okay, so right now my max value is what? One, okay, fair enough. Let's move on. We'll come to C. Okay, hash this value, whatever character this is. We've hashed the value. Now my i is at one, right? My i is present at one. Okay. Now is this condition true that while MP of S of i is greater than two? No. So keep moving. Go on to the next iteration. Move on with the ne next iteration. So you'll come to B. So increase your frequency of B to two. Now also update your max like for the second iteration your max will become what two okay now we are at the third iteration in the third iteration you are having b so b will become two here c will become one all right so here again is this condition true no absolutely not this is a potential substring so consider its length so update your max to three all right now as soon as you will come to the fourth iteration you can see that now my frequency of b is three which means i need to start trimming my substring from the left right so what i'll do i'll go and decrease the mp of s of left minus minus so that is left pointer is at this zeroth index which is pointing to the character b so which means i have to remove the frequency of b or decrement it by one simply so it will become two all right and now i'll be considering this substring here okay so now you can see my max, I'll again update it. My max is going to be also I update the left pointer. So it will become one. Now you can see my max is again, it's going to be three. So there's no need to update it. All right. Keep moving ahead. As soon as you come to this P again, you can see that here you will make your B's frequency three. And again, you will go inside of this conditions, which means that make S of left minus minus. Okay. See, so S of left is a standing at one index which is C. So you will have to remove this frequency. You will have to decrement this frequency to zero, right? One minus zero. Okay. So you remove this part, but has the frequency B, has it decreased? No, right? So again, 
this particular substring which we are standing at this is definitely not going to give us an answer so what we have to do we have to again trim right so that is the reason we are having a while loop right this is what i was trying to point out all right so you cannot have a if condition because if you have a if condition you don't know that the left character that you are trimming is it the character which is your current character no right here it was c right so that is the reason to have the while loop right so you have to be mindful of that okay so again you have to see you had updated it to two so you'll come here so left pointer is here so you will have to trim it so make mp of s of left minus minus so which means this you will decrease to two and also increase your left pointer to three so basically your left pointer is now here okay so which means i'm considering this part of the substring right now okay so here where i'm where my window is okay all right now let us move ahead and here if i consider its length so it's definitely going to be two as you can see and already max is three okay continue your iteration go to this c okay so hash it make its value one okay up to now it's also good as you come here you will again make your b's frequency three right again you have you will end up in this condition and you will start trimming from the left side so your left pointer is present at third index right so now you have to trim that so as soon as you trim it you will decrease your b's frequency to two correct so you will remove this character from here okay and also increment your left pointer to four okay now you have this particular substring that you are considering b c b and okay continue your iteration because now the map looks fine continue your iteration you will come to a so again uh, there is no problem here in the inside of this while condition you will not end up so that means update your max to max of i minus left plus one right so this will now you can see it will become four right so now you will end up all the iterations and you can simply return this max so now you can see that we have formed an answer and we wanted this answer four right and it is the correct answer so you'll return this max so i hope now it's clear that how we are using sliding window to solve this question so the code is also up to like this only let us go and see the code now so here what we've done is declared a map and this max variable this id variable is actually the left pointer that i was showing here okay then what I'm doing is I'm iterating inside of the string, right, from the zeroth index and building my map, right, and uh, hashing these values inside of the map. Then I am only checking this condition if my MP of S of I becomes greater than 2. That is, if this is the current window that I'm considering, if this is not a potential substring, I have to start trimming from the left side, right. So here I'm starting trimming from the left side and I'm also incrementing my left pointer. And then what I'll do is I'll keep doing this until and unless the frequency of the current character doesn't become less than equal to two. And then I'll simply store the length of this potential substring, right? And out of those, I am storing the maximum length and I can simply return the max in the end. So I hope the solution is clear.